Hey everybody, Rich here. In this video I'm going to show you how to use what is the equivalent of live bookmarks in Internet Explorer 8 where you can get f live feeds via a little drop down menu using the favorites bar. Now to configure IE8 in order to get ready to do this first I'll note that most of you probably have your browser looking something like this. You'll need to enable your favorites bar and you'll also need to enable the RSS feed icon if it isn't already enabled. So let's do that first. Tap your alt key so you get the menu bar, view toolbars, favorites bar. So you have your favorites bar. You'll note it if you have favorites over on the far left. And then just right click any one of these icons here. Go to customize, add or remove commands. Look for feeds on the left. Click add, puts it on the right. Close. If we want to move this button, right click again, customize, add remove commands, select feeds, click move up. You'll notice that when I'm doing that, the button is actually moving. And then click close. So it's on the left or in the middle or anywhere you want. It doesn't matter. Then at that point, we have to tap the alt button. Again, go to tools, internet options, and content, and then look for where it says feeds and web slices and hit settings and make sure the checkbox turn on feed reading view is checked. The other ones are completely optional. I would also suggest for the automatic check to set that to 15 minutes because by default it's one day. This means it will check feeds every 15 minutes rather than once every 24 hours. It's a little more convenient, a little more timely. So we hit OK, hit OK, and now we're ready to rock. For the example of feeds, I'm actually going to use YouTube channels. Now, you do not need to be subscribed to YouTube channels in order to subscribe to RSS feeds. As a matter of fact, you don't even need a YouTube account. All you need is to subscribe to the feed, and you can put it in here, and it's actually very convenient. I'm on the PC Media Net channel, and all I do is you'll notice that this little orange chiclet here, it will only light up if there is a feed present. So if it turns orange, it's it has a feed. If it's gray, there's no feed. I click this and then it says you are viewing a feed and there's a button here with a star with a plus sign that says subscribe to the feed. When this little window comes up, make sure to add to favorites bar, check that and hit subscribe. And let me drag this over to the right. And these are the uploads. These are all the videos that are on the PC Media Net channel, or the latest 25. Now, if there's anything new that appears for this channel, this will bold itself. So the reason they're all bold, excuse me, all bold, is because I just added the feed. If I do mark all as red, you'll notice it's not bold anymore. And that's that. Now I'll do this again. <clears throat> excuse me for my personal channel. Same process. Just go to the channel and wait for the little chicka to light up. Click it and hit subscribe to this feed. Add to the favorites bar and subscribe. And I'll drag this over here. And there they all are. Now if you wanted to put these into a folder, you can right click any one of them and go to new folder. And I'll just call it YouTube. Create. Let me drag this right after here, and then I'll just click and drag this one into the folder, and click and drag this one into the folder, and now they're here. Now you'll notice something pretty cool is that the bold actually carries over to the folder, so if there's a new video on either one of the channels, the folder itself will go bold. Some of you may get annoyed by that bold feature, not to worry. You can change that for any of the feeds. For the PC Media Net channel, for example, or any feed that you have, I can right click and say, <clears throat> okay, there's a bold on update. I can just uncheck that by left clicking it. I can do that for this one too. So if I do this for my channel, you'll notice it carries and the folder is not bold anymore. But if I bold on update, put it back, the folder will go bold. I have another folder here called Tech, which has a bunch of RSS feeds in it. Same deal. Uh, the only one I wanted to go bold on update was Reddit. So I right click that one. That one's the only one that's bold on update for every other one of these. You'll notice that bold on update does not carry. 
So the only time this folder goes bold is when Reddit, out of all these feeds, has an update. So that's, it's just very convenient. Oh, I also should note that you can rename any one of these. If I right-click, go to Properties. You can do more than rename, actually. I'll just rename this one. And you could set the default schedule instead of 15 minutes to 1 hour, 4 hours, 24 hours, and so on. You can also tell it how many feeds do you want to uh, download at a time. And you can do a maximum of 2,500, or it just does the most recent, which is 200. Uh, more often than not, the feed count will probably not exceed 25 to 40. It depends on the volume of content that the provider for the feed is, uh, pushes out on a daily basis or every 15 minutes in this case. So in a nutshell, that's it. So you can do your feeds in here. It's convenient. You can do this in Fire. Yes, you can do this in Firefox too with something that's called Live Bookmarks. Um, the IE weight though is a little better because it actually gives you bold when there is an update, which is pretty neat. And that's it in a nutshell. Take it easy.